Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Scents of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance review. This is going to be episode four in the new series, Super Random, Super Cheap, where all the selections of fragrances that we're going to review are super random, and of course, they are super cheap. So today, we're going to be taking a look at an Italian-made fragrance. Uh, it's from the late 70s, and it is none other than Denim Original. So we're gonna be taking a look at the Eau de Toilette. I got the aftershave and a couple other products. Keep in mind here, we're gonna break down the fragrance the same way. We're gonna look at its presentation. Then we're gonna talk about its notes and we're gonna talk about its performance on my skin from my experience wearing the fragrance. Then we're gonna talk about my overall thoughts and I'll give it my overall rating. Keep in mind, in the series, super random, super cheap, the presentation will not affect the overall rating. And as always, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy what you see and you like this type of fragrance content, please subscribe to the channel to support the channel. And if you have an Instagram, check out the Sense of South Jersey Instagram page for news and updates on the channel. And of course, photos of fragrances from my collection. So let's take a look at Denim. All right, let's start things off with the presentation for Original by Denim. Uh, again, this is classified as a woody aromatic. Let's take a look at the box here. So you have what looks like, uh, you know, the jawline and, you know, neck of a guy in a either denim or blue button down. It says denim here. You got what looks like kind of like a jean jacket rivet or pair of jeans, you know, rivet or button there. Denim original. And this is the aftershave box. The Eau de Toilette box is the same thing, essentially. So we'll take a look at that. Um, again, the same except... Slight difference in the design here, Rivet, and this is the Eau de Toilette. So um, here you go, you can see denim on top, whereas this one has just the button and the back of the fragrance here. You got some examples, they actually demonstrate, you can kind of see how to utilize the fragrance, where to spray and where to apply the aftershave. Um, and then you've got some brand information and your batch code stamped into the bottom of the box. I got this one in a gift set, it looks like this and it came with a deodorant spray. And it is made in Italy, believe it or not, despite being cheap. And the company they made is Coda. And it's made in Switzerland, but, or spaced in Switzerland, but this is made in Italy. Denim is made in Italy. So um, we'll take a look at the bottle here. Kind of frosted glass. And it's funny because the aftershave has the clear glass and the darker juice, where uh, the Eau de Toilette has the frosted glass. And usually it's the opposite. Usually the aftershaves always have the frosted glass here. So you have a pretty cool looking bottle. Um, you got that button there. The cap is really cheap and the atomizer is really cheap too. But it actually sprays out a ton of fragrances. So let's, it like dumps a bunch on you. It like comes out as a huge mist. Um, so despite having a really cheap atomizer, the bottle's okay. And that's the presentation for Denim Original. All right, guys, so the notes for Denim Original, or Original Denim, whatever you want to call it, um, despite it being a you know late 70s fragrance, it doesn't have a ton of notes, which is rare. Usually, fragrances from this era have like, you know, 10 notes, top 10, middle 10, bottom, you know, in the base. But this one on top just has Clary Sage, Pettigrain, and Bergamot. And then in the middle, it just has one note, it's all about them. And then in the base, it has Vetiver, Cedar, and Amber. But... I really detect some green mossiness with this one. So I'm not sure if oak moss is a part of it or any other green notes, but it's not listed that I could find. Um, but at the same time, that's exactly what I smell when it dries down for sure. All right, so the performance for Original by Denim Eau de Toilette, very, very good. I get easily a full work day, so eight hours from this fragrance. I notice it after work, on my way home, when I'm home, uh, you know, when I'm exercising and I'm sweating, it really uh, comes out again. It's like it, you know, revives itself. So performance on this is excellent for the price. Um, again, this is this gift set was what twenty bucks. I got it on eBay from Trinity Parfums. Check them out, Trinity Parfums. There's no need to sample this one. You just buy it because it's so inexpensive. The aftershaves um, I found at Marshalls, you know, for five dollars. So, um, you know, really, really inexpensive and great performance for the price. So easily over eight hours, I would imagine it projects well. Um, you know, you can't really judge that, but um, eight hours is the performance that I'm getting. So that's awesome for, you know, the price of this cheap fragrance. All right, so my overall thoughts on Original Denim. This is a mega hit for me, guys. This is awesome. I mean, it smells fantastic. It's inexpensive, but it's high quality. You know, when I say cheap, I don't mean like bad. I mean just cheap price-wise. It's an inexpensive fragrance. It's a huge hit. It's got so much going on. 
Um, it's fresh in the opening. I definitely get what smells like some citrus burst. And then at the same time, it's got the masculine dry down. It's dirty. It's got a little funkiness going on in there. So it's like it manages to pull what I call the Koros effect, where it's clean and fresh, but also dirty, musky, and super masculine at the same time. And it has that funky note to it. Um, it's, it's so inexpensive. It, it's crazy. So I think that the aftershave is actually a little bit darker. So this is... Um, a little bit on the leathery side, where this is a little bit on the fresher side. So they're not 100% the same. And I shaved today. This is my scent of the day. And I splashed the aftershave on. And I kind of, you know, wore it around before I made this video. And I noticed, especially when you put it on, the leather comes through um, really strong in this one. Whereas the Eau de Toilette, um, it seems in the beginning, it's a little bit fresher. Then the dry down is the same. It has that, like, you know, green, mossy funky you know dirtiness going on but it's it's awesome i absolutely love this set and i ordered backup bottles i was in marshall's and i saw them one day one day they were just there and they had a bunch of different flankers this um fragrance denim has a ton of flankers the ones that i have are black and aqua aqua is cool water and black is like a really bad imitation of Dracar Noir. So I would pass on those two. I have Musk on the way. I haven't tried that yet. I hear that one's good. That's probably more my style. Um, I just got the other ones because they were so cheap. They were, they were $4.99 and they were just there. They also have body sprays. You can see original denim body spray. And then they have the body wash too. And this is one of the times where the body wash actually smells a lot like the fragrance. So with this, I would imagine when you could wear this season-wise, this is a th easily a three-season, fall, winter, spring, but light application in the summer because that opening freshness. So I really would say this is easily worn all year round. Um, this is a great signature scent. It's a great fragrance if you want to have a, a daily driver, like a signature scent. It's masculine, and, um, and it lasts a long time, too. So I, I really like it. Um, one of the things that it reminds me of are two legendary fragrances, if you will. Uh, one is Paco Rabanne Pour Homme. So it kind of has that opening, like Paco Rabanne Pour Homme, that sharp freshness. And then um, it also reminds me of Bogart Signatures by uh, Jacques Bogart. So this fragrance, I didn't take it out of the box. Sorry, guys. Um, you know, this is a lot darker, but it, that green mossiness, it, it's similar. So I would say Denim Falls right in between the two, right in between Paco Rabanne Pour Homme and right in between uh, Bogart Signature, but leaning a little bit closer to Bogart Signature. This could be like the fresher Bogart Signature or the Bogart Signature Eau de Sport, but that is Denim. So if those two had a child, that's what this would be. And uh, this is really great. I would imagine um, age range. Well, if you're, you know, late 20s, you probably would like this, Sam. I mean, this is, this is a mask. This is a manly set. I, if you're a denim guy, like, think about some other fragrances that have been in super cheap, random, super cheap series. Like, this is, if you're a denim man, you got your stuff together. People respect you. You give respect. You get respect back. You're not like the guy that wears Mambo who is late on his child support payments. Like, this is, you got your shit together. This is a great fragrance. I really enjoy it. And it, it's so inexpensive. Um, and it, and it, it's got its hands in a, a bunch of different fragrances that I also really enjoy, but it, it comes into its own and it also has a full body line as well too. Um, so I really, I'm really enjoying this one. Definitely check it out. Um, it's my scent of the day, so I'll apply some more on. So again, for the price, get the Eau de Toilette on eBay. Trinity Parfums, they have every flanker. I think they're listing it for $21. So um, you can make it offer though. I got mine for 18 and they ship right away and they happen to be in New Jersey as well too. So I got mine faster. Obviously I know that's not gonna apply for everybody, but original denim is awesome. All right, guys, it's time for my overall rating for Original by Denim. So this fragrance, presentation-wise, the box and the name are a little goofy. Um, it's very, very classic, like late 70s, early 80s. Um, the box is funny. The guy with the jawline, the neck, that's, that's pretty funny, um, but sort of goofy at the same time. And, you know, it's an inexpensive box. Um, and the bottle, I actually like the bottle. I like the aftershave. I think the aftershave bottle looks the nicest because the frosted glass kind of warps the color. But it is cool that you can see the difference. Um, this is a splash, obviously. So bottle-wise, this is pretty cool. But the atomizer is just so cheap looking. And same thing with the cap. Like the cap doesn't sit on all the way. You definitely can't pick it up by the cap. But, it, you know, the distribution is pretty good. So we'll go 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10 for... Um, presentation for original denim again not going to affect the overall rating performance awesome but over eight hours so i'm going to give it an eight and a half out of ten and for the scent it's got that 80s classic kind of masculine barbershoppy you know dark dirty funky fresh all at the same time absolutely love the scent eight and a half out of ten so that's going to give this an overall rating of eight and a half out of ten get your hands on original denim it's so inexpensive you will kick yourself if you don't get it trinity parfums on ebay um, they're a new seller but 
everything's been perfect with them so far and try to pick up the body line as well too if you can because it's worth it and the body spray smells really really good and lasts a long time as well too i'm sure there's aftershave balm and deodorant out there but it's really hard to come by i haven't seen it yet so I, i'm not sure I, I haven't really gotten it so i've just used some other stuff that i have you know in place of it but um if you like scents like Bogart Signature, Paco Rabanne Pour Homme. You'll love this. And it's different. It's not a complete clone or copy by any means at all. This is its own thing and really, really good. So 8.5 out of 10 for uh, Original by Denim. All right, everyone. That'll do it for me for today's review and episode four of Super Random, Super Cheap. And today we did denim. So I would love to hear from you guys. What do you think of the review? What do you think of this fragrance? Do you own this fragrance? Do you own any of the flankers? Are any of the uh, flankers better? I would love to hear from you guys. I always appreciate all the interaction. Um, and of course, subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff. I appreciate it. And thank you so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Take care. Thank you.